Kona Raven, and I wanted to share a brand new mini album I finished. It is an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter mini album, and the paper collection that I used was by Prima. It's called Stationer's Desk. It's a 48 sheet uh, A4 paper pad, and I loved it because one, I had 16 designs to, shoot, to choose from. Um, they were one sided paper, so that made it easy. And uh, I only needed one pad to complete the entire album, which is a bonus. So here's my album. I kept it very simple. I let the papers speak for themselves. Um, I didn't embellish the interior a whole lot. So as you can see, uh, no title or anything here. I just embellished this corner with some flowers and some charms. Uh, and here's a Tim Holtz uh, wordament charm, I guess. Uh, as you can see the spine here, I have uh, just a little uh, brass piece here, and then there's the back of it. The closure I used is a ribbon tie. And then let's take a look on the inside. So here's the interior. As you can see, I left this front cover open, but I do like the two-tone paper, the dark against the light. I think that's quite lovely. On here, uh, my first page is a split pocket page. And these are magnetic, so you just pop the tab here, and that opens up. And then this is a pocket here with two tags that are photo mats, and then you can journal on the back. Here's an on-page pocket with a 5 by 7 photo mat. Each of the side pockets, the large side pockets, have a large photo mat, and this is a seven by seven. On my next page here is a, uh, a flap. It's magnetic also, so this pops up. There's a pocket here, and I have three photo mats here. So this five by three photo mat, there's some journaling and some photo mat, and a photo mat on the back. Again, journal and then here's another journaling spot and I split it so you have a small three by four photo mat here like a wallet size and then this is a large photo mat but I created a pocket in the back that you could tuck a photo in and then here's also a journaling card and then this pocket is also a flip down so that flips down like this for places for photos On this page here, I have another flip down. So this comes down like so, place for two photos. And then these pull out, and you have two photo mats. Now here's another on page pocket with a large photo mat. And then another side pocket photo mat. On the next page, I have another flap here that's magnetic, but on this side, instead of leaving it blank, I have two pockets with two photo mats. You can journal on the back of those. So this is flips open, and it flips open again. And I included a flap with journaling cards on it, so you can journal for this page here, and then you flip it over and you can journal for this page here. I have two flip outs on this page that I turned into two pockets so that I could have tags. So let me pull the tags first. Here's a photo mat tag and then on the back there's room for journaling. And these both flip outwards this way. And then another large side pocket photo mat. So this page here is a large space for photos, an on-page pocket with a photo mat. And then it flips out twice. So here's one and two. And again, I created another uh, flip uh, 
journaling spot. So you can journal for this page and then flip it and then journal for this page also. So these are two separate pages or mini pages, I guess. They are pockets. So here's the two tag photo mats. And then this is magnetic, it pops open and this folds out so that you can journal here and put a photo there. And then this one here, also magnetic, but this one folds down for some journaling spots or both photo mats. Another flap that's magnetic, pop that open. And then this flap opens up. And you can see that there's a large pocket for a space for a photo here. And in the pocket, I have two large photo mats. This one's five by seven, and this one's six by four. And then on this side page here, another pocket that you could probably put a photo there if you wanted to. And there's a small photo mat. This is a five by three photo mat with an accompanying uh, photo mat tag with some journaling on the back spot to journal. And then another large side pocket photo mat. And I like to think I saved the best for last. This is definitely my favorite page. It's a gate fold, but it's got a window on it. Um, and then this just unwinds out here. And you open this up. There's, it, this is magnetic. So it folds up and then it also folds down for plenty of space for photos. And then on the back cover here, I created a pouch so that any pictures that don't make it into the actual album, um, you could still store them all in the same place. So it's a pretty deep pouch. Uh, and I thought it'd be a nice little addition to the album. So there you have it. Super simple, uh, just simple eight by eight mini album. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Aloha.